Hey guys, it's Folk Guys here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York City, and look what I'm doing. Look at this. Well, I'm doing another Dave and Adams product, believe it or not. 2021-22 Hit Parade Autograph Montreal Edition Hockey Puck. Back up the truck, we'll uh, toss in some pucks. We don't give up. Wait, I can't say that. So we see right here it says 43 of 50, but again, they can release these pucks forever uh, if they so choose. These signed collectible pucks can be official game or auto version pucks. Every auto puck is authenticated only by the most credible companies. So they say on the website, so they list, uh, who do they list? It lists Fanatics, Upper Deck, uh, AJ Sports World, TriStar, TriStar, Dave and Adams, they list themselves. So that's interesting. Uh, and uh, theoretically you could receive a Cole Caulfield, a Frank Mahovlich, Guy Lafleur, Guy Lapointe, Henri Richard, Le Maire, Robinson, Suzuki, Bowman, Shutt, Cornway, Bellabo. That's what they list. So I have two of these boxes, so I'll try one, and it was a decent price, so I thought I'd do it. Uh, I have this to break. I have so many things to break. I even purchased this, Prism. People have gone bonkers for Prism, so I thought I would open up. I can't afford a hobby box, guys. It's just too much, but uh, instead I have this little baby, which of course is a blaster to master. And guys, get into my draw. Please get into my draws because I have to give away a bunch of cards. Be sure to sub, like, hashtag draw, and so many of my viewers are not sub. Please sub, turn on the notifications, do me the honor, do me the honor. All right, guys, let's do this. And you notice how it has 97 on there? Uh, I don't think 97 is in this product, seeing as it is a Montreal Canadiens exclusive, which is why I decided to pick it up. Uh, wish me luck. And, you know, I just opened up Black Diamond in my last break, and I'm convinced, you know, considering the fact that SP Ake also cost $300 for me, uh, I am now completely convinced that Black Diamond is better than SPA in terms of the quality of the cards and what you receive uh, when you realize that base cards don't have value in the hobby anymore. Uh, neither do generic uh, base inserts, but that is a long debate I'd love to have with anybody uh, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of defiance with regard to that, but I can't believe how beautiful those black diamond cards were. Uh, yeah, man, so that's a debate I wanna have with people. Uh, but I know I'm gonna get trolled because we all know that Almighty God says that SPA is the most godly product on the planet. I actually like sticker autos, which is another thing, guys. I just like the fact that Gila Fleur can still sign, even though the man has passed. All right, uh, is this covered up? I'll cover it up with my uh, score pack from 1991. And I like that the manufactured patches are puzzle pieces. I like a lot of stuff about that. So let's see what we have here. Can you be, be? I can see a Habs logo is what I can see thus far. All right. I'll open up that score pack in a second. So let's see who we received. Let's see who we received. And look at this, what a beautiful auto. Do you guys know who this auto is? I'm actually, is it Deno? I have no idea who this is. Who is this auto? Oh, it's Shane Corson. It is a Shane Corson autograph. That is beautiful. You know, I met Shane Corson. Uh, I met him right before the finals in 89, and I had a drink with him at the bar. I had shots with him at the bar uh, at Chez Swan in Montreal, uh, back in the day downtown. Uh, yeah, man, so look at this. So it's, uh, so this is, a, so it's authenticated by Kojo Sports. Uh, you know, decent one. I mean, I'm a big Shane Corson fan. Of course, I guess people know him on other teams, including uh, Edmonton. But uh, yeah, really, really, really nice, man. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful puck. And I like that it has the Habs logo on it. And it's a beautiful auto, an absolutely beautiful auto. I was trying to figure out who that was. Nice. All right, and I do have another Habs box to open up. So we'll see of this stuff. And I actually have a generic one of uh, all the NHL teams. Now I am gonna open up a pack of this score. Uh, I know you guys think I'm crazy for what I just said, but I mean, if you see, watch all the breaks of the Black Diamond, watch entire case breaks and see the quality of cards that you receive and the technology of the cards in comparison to just, and sticker autos are not the worst thing in the world. If the technology behind the cards are absolutely state of the art, beautiful, if you're looking towards the future of our hobby. Uh, so let's, let's look at these cards here. So we have a Peter Klima, we have a Jeff Cortnell, we have a Dino Cicerelli, we have a Stevie Y in full motion, that's a beautiful card. Uh, John McLean, we have a Dave Reed with a crew cut for some reason. Uh, we have Ice Bart, 
We have Rick Zombo. I don't even know who Rick Zombo is. Murray Barron. I definitely remember Murray Barron. John Drews. Pelly Eklund. We have Tony McKegney. Eric Desjardins, who was a monster in our finals uh, against the Kings. Uh, Keith Acton and Don Sweeney. All right, Keith Acton, probably with hair. Uh, he was initially a hab. So that's basically it, guys. Really happy with that one because I've met Shane Corson. I love Shane Corson. He was an eighth overall back in 84. He was on our 87 Stanley Cup winning team, but not the 93 one because by then he was in Edmonton, then St. Louis, then back with the Canadians and with, uh, I think, with the Leafs. Huge long career, over 1,100 games. He was a big deal, so that's awesome. But what I will notice and point out is that, look at this, man. So there are 50 pucks on the checklist. The checklist on David Adams uh, has 12 names listed here of the 50, so that's 24% of all the names are listed on the website. So you have to figure that there's another 76% that are not listed, right? Uh, so I received one of the ones that's not listed. I'm actually gonna do another break of this stuff. So we'll see whether that one turns out to be great or mediocre. So guys, get into my draw. Do me the favor of hashtagging a Dryden to do that. Uh, sub like hashtag Dryden. And you notice here we have Brendan Gallagher and a lot of people are talking about him for the captaincy. I think they should go with youth. I think this guy's window has closed. That's my own opinion. I think you have to go with someone in the new NHL who's actually really highly skilled. He also was not a point producer within our Stanley Cup run. He only had like six out of, I think 22 games. He had like six points. Anyways, uh, sub like hashtag Dryden. I'd be full cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York City.